now back to the weather classroom. So, tornadoes can definitely be scary things. No doubt about that. Thing is, they're really amazing, too. Nature doesn't put on a much more impressive show than a twister. And even though you don't want to get in the way of a tornado, you're definitely one of the lucky few if you ever get to see one in person. So, what most people know about tornadoes, they learn from the same place we learn all kinds of things. TV and the movies. In The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy and her little dog Toto learned about tornadoes the hard way and look where it landed them. In the movie Twister, storm chasers went looking for trouble and found plenty of it in the end. Tornadoes are even more impressive in real life because they can strike with little or no warning and they can happen anywhere, at any time. In April 1974, one storm system called the Super Outbreak spawned 148 individual tornadoes devastating an area from Alabama to Michigan. 30 F4 and F5 tornadoes ground across the United States, killing 300, injuring 6,000, and destroying $600 million worth of property. The single worst tornado tragedy occurred in 1925 in the Tri-State outbreak. Several tornadoes claimed the lives of almost 750 people. Most recently, an outbreak of 78 tornadoes tore through Oklahoma, Kansas, and Tennessee in the spring of 1999, killing dozens and leaving thousands more homeless. One of the biggest funnels cut a swath of destruction half a mile wide at its base, with radar-clocked winds faster than 300 miles per hour. So the key to surviving tornadoes is knowing that they're coming, and what to do when they arrive. The sadness that occurs when you realize the devastation, the injury, the, the, the strong effect it has on people's lives for the rest of their life, the emotional scars that come from being in a tornado. I have done a number of damage surveys, and nothing is more sobering than walking through the rubble, sometimes no more than the flat surface of this asphalt parking lot, that you know was someone's house. A family lived there. They had their things like we have our things. Those things are gone. At the Storm Prediction Center, in fact, along with the whole weather service, what we have is a concept that we call Ready, Set, Go. In the ready stage is when we issue the severe weather outlook that identifies the area that we're going to be monitoring as meteorologists at the Storm Prediction Center and as a National Weather Service, where we're going to be monitoring severe storms to develop that particular day. That tells people, okay, I may be in this area, that's a good time to make sure that you have a radio, a battery powered radio available, that you know where you're going to go and what you're going to do when severe storms are going to develop. As the day progresses and the environment becomes more prime for severe storms, then we'll define an area that we put in a tornado watch or a severe thunderstorm watch. That's set. So now we're at ready, we're at set. That set means that it's time to keep an ear to the TV or to the radio to make sure that you know that weather is changing, where it's changing, and when it's going to approach your area. Then the National Weather Service local offices will issue a warning. That's when a severe thunderstorm either has been observed or has been identified by radar. And when they issue that warning, then it's time to go to safety. The, the safest place in a tornado is going to be below ground. If you can't be below ground, if you have a, uh, a safe room uh, that's specially designed to withstand um, tornado force winds, that is the second best place. But lacking those two options, the safest place is going to be above ground in a interior hallway, interior closet. Safe room is a room that basically has no windows and no outside doors. Uh, it has doors that lead into other, from other rooms that lead into the safe room. You can have a safe room in your house simply by going to an interior room in the home, such as maybe a hallway that does not have any exterior doors, it doesn't have any exterior windows. The reason people panic is they don't have a plan in place and they don't know what to do. By having a severe weather plan in place, that's going to help avoid panic. This is a below ground storm shelter that we have had constructed in our home. Uh, there are above ground uh, safe rooms that people can build as well, but we decided to have a, a below ground storm shelter. 
There's a very heavy steel door there. We have emergency lights. We have emergency provisions down there, water and, and juice for the kids and, and snacks. Usually I go down there first and bring them down. So I'll go down. I, I can go down all by myself. Uh, let me help you, okay? You know what I can do, Dad? Okay. We'll get down here and we'll close the door. Okay. Maybe. Just maybe. I'm not cut out to be a storm chaser. It's probably best. Learned a lot about tornadoes, though. Know when to find them, know where to find them even know what to do when one of them finds you. <laughs> so it wasn't such a bad trip after all. In fact, you know that guy who sold me the map? He even traded it in for me so I could see a movie when I get home. And not bad, eh? Finally bagged me a twister, and she's a real beauty. Well, I gotta be going. See you back at class. After a while, crocodile. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains, and mm -hmm, Oklahoma, okay. Well, that's about it for class today. I don't know about you, but frankly, I'm okay with not catching a tornado. They're one of the most amazing sights in all of nature, and we definitely come a long way toward understanding them since Dorothy and Toto rode one to Oz. But for all we do know, we're still never sure about exactly when or where they're going to hit. And that makes them as deadly as they are intriguing. So look, but don't touch, okay? Good. For the Weather Classroom, I'm Sarah. See you next time.